It says, wives submit to your husbands, not girlfriends submit to your boyfriend. Okay, talk about it. Not woman off the street submit to the (laughs) man you met at the club. Not living roommates submit to your living roommate because he down. (laughs) Oh, wait a minute. No, no. Okay. (laughs) That's not what it says. It says, wives submit to your husbands. Chaos. I'm seeing that too, because I, I, like I said, I love relationship topics, and I, I, I love love, man. I, and I just hate what I'm seeing, and yeah. I, I agree with you on the, on the standards, because what I'm seeing is a constant fight between men and women, like the gender war. Right. There's been there's been happening. It's like the gender war is going on, you know, and it's like nobody's coming to a to a resolution, right? You know, and let's do that. Let's do that on this podcast right now. Like, let's try to come because I don't like to do, and we're not gonna come up with the full, okay. <laughs> The full thing, but to have a conversation about what it looks like moving forward, I think that as Black Americans, we're in a super interesting position to mm-hmm. where we get to like create a culture. Yeah. A lot of people were born into one, and we were born into a culture, but you know, we get to really like a culture. put a stamp on it. And so we get to say, okay, well, that worked, let's take that. That didn't work, let's take that out. That works. Let's keep this in. Okay, we see them doing that over there. Let's pull that in. Okay, they did that. That works. All right, let's do that. So I would like to at least give the people some solutions because we talked about like what is going wrong. But what are maybe some solutions you found for self-discipline? And then I can go through because I think that's everyone needs self-mastery. Yeah. But self-discipline, I think to a man is like what water is to a fish. Like it is. You there's no way around it. And then when one thing I've also heard is, and I think it's so true is like when men are in their purpose, they become very dangerous. Mm. Very, Yo. very, very, very dangerous. Purpose is, purpose is real. I will talk about that. And I want to talk about it from what men would want. I want you to talk about what women would want. Okay. Yeah. So with that, I'm start, start with purpose and discipline. Um, it's very serious for a man because it's how we hardwired. You know, we hardwired to conquer, protect, provide, and things like that. You know, so when we're not doing that, we feel crushed. Mm-hmm. You know, even if you you can take a guy, it's, it's he coming from. He, I would say he come from prison or out of jail, or something he on a job, and even if he can get a, a job at McDonald's, make ten dollars an hour, to to him to see some money coming in to have his own money, he's gonna feel inspired. You know, you probably don't want to work at McDonald's, right. but I always tell uh, any young man to get some type of job because you want to, the point is not necessarily the job, mm-hmm. but to see your, the work of your own hands, you producing something. Cause it's going to build and build and build because you're going to get unsatisfied at that job. You're gonna be like, you know what? I don't want to work. I got to get more money. What can I do next? Mm-hmm. So that's going to inspire you, the man inside to, so, okay, I'm tired of this job. Let me put this money to the side. And build this, you're gonna keep going up and up and up. Mm-hmm. So is you got a man have to see the work of his hands. So a lot of times, uh, men don't see that within themselves. Sometimes you know, so that's like production, self discipline. But you have to be disciplined to do. it. You have to sit down, have some quiet time yourself. Okay, where am I going? Right. What am I trying to do? Um, I think some things that uh, women should understand about men, just kind of who men are. You know what they like to do, um, how they hardwired. Something they like, something they don't like. You know, um, I think men do require a certain thing, but at the same time, the things that they require, they have to be, mm-hmm. so to speak. You know, um, I look online sometimes, and maybe it's just online thing. When I see men talk about <laughs> the things that they want and they need from a woman, they're always shamed for it. And it's it's sad because... Like what? Help the people. Okay, sometimes men, men be like, and I ain't talking about like no toxic stuff. Just men be like, you know, I be like, I want a woman to cook clean. I want her to do this. I want her to have my children. I want her to, to to support me. I want her to do this and that. Or and when they say stuff like that, or they when they say something like submissive, you get this big backlash. Mm-hmm. And I'm talking, and I'm talking about men of just substance. I like to say men of substance, right. substance like men who are really trying to do something, trying to go somewhere. Not mm-hmm. men just, I need all the women, baby. Not that. <laughs> I need this chick, that chick. You know, some men who <clears throat> really trying to do something, you know, <clears throat> excuse me. Right. And it, it's <laughs> sad because they, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and they can't really express what they were like, you know, woman. it don't matter what they say. You know, they, they just like, oh, you'll be man, be quiet. Just be happy that you have a woman. 
and that's unacceptable because um, it just is. And one last point about that, I like to use a, the framework of like paying for stuff, mm-hmm. right? I think most most men don't men don't mind paying. If you kind of look on men don't mind slur, like splurging on the woman and this mm-hmm. and that, right? I think what it is is that uh, when it comes to money and finances, men want to be respected for their money, right? You know, right? Like for example, I read an article. I forgot that it's a black man. I forgot his name. I gotta find it. But he was talking about he's married now, mm-hmm. beautiful family. But he was talking about when he was dating and how he went on so many dates and women just expected him. Right. Like, oh, you got it. You pay for it. Boom, boom, boom. He didn't like that because it's like they didn't respect who he was. They just mm-hmm. automatically felt entitled because he's a man. He got money. You owe me money. Mm-hmm. He said the woman that he loved, she appreciated him paying for stuff. She's like, you know what? I appreciate you paying for this. I know you didn't have to. You know, I appreciate you paying for this dinner. I appreciate you taking me. I appreciate you for doing this. And he saw in her <clears throat> that she saw the real man in him that didn't want necessarily about his money. But he wanted to be appreciative for who he was as a man. Yeah, he could provide. But if a man can be a billionaire, if, if a person don't feel appreciated, who going to want to do it? For prime example, if you're a woman, you like to cook. Do you want to keep cooking for a man who don't appreciate your cooking? You know what I'm saying? Like, right. oh, you cook this again? Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, how long that's going to last? Chicken every Tuesday. You, know, you, could be, you could be the best chef on earth, but how, how long is going to like? How long you going to cook with somebody who don't appreciate it? Yeah. You know, that's, and that's the main, the main point. It's just like, I think men want to be appreciated and supported by the woman. And uh, I'll hand it off to you. What are some things that women want? So that was that was big. Okay. Appreciated and supported. I got to put that in my head. Note it. So women... Are vi- like you have, <laughs> we are a little complicated because <laughs> I even talk to some women and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> That's not what you said you wanted. <laughs> so why would you expect him to know that? I know that safety for me is mm. huge, and for most women, for most women, can you, can you, hold on, can you stop right there? I've, I've been hearing that so much lately. Safety, and it's, and it's convicting. Yes. So t- keep me safe, baby. <laughs> that, that's why if I'm with a man, I don't feel safe. I can't be with you. But also, I don't think that a man would make me feel unsafe. And so I also want to um, clarify, like my dad used to always say, um, or my dad always says, there's a difference between a man and a little boy. Hmm. So you can be a little boy and you can be 50. So yeah. when we say men, and then you use that, uh, that cuss word submission. A lot of people, th- yeah. <laughs> a lot of people think it's a cuss word. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> um, <laughs> that it's not to a little boy, and you also don't submit to a random man off the street. Facts. Facts. And our, I love R.C. Blake's. He had, and he said that it says wives submit to your husbands. Not girlfriend, submit to your boyfriend. Okay, talk about Not it. Not woman off the street, submit to the <laughs> man you met at the club. Not living roommate, submit to your living roommate talk because he's down. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. No, no. Okay. <laughs> That's not what it says. It says, wives, submit to your husbands. There it is right there. And then the part that people don't like to say, and I, I may mess this up, so help me out. It Wives, submit to your husbands. As your husband has submitted himself to the Lord. Going better this. So really, honestly, truthfully, you are in submission to God, right? Your husband is just in leadership position. When I am, I love working with kids. Kids are absolutely amazing. Kids are technically submitted to me when they're with me. Mm -hmm. However, they're not really submitted to me because I'm submitted to God. I want to choke a child sometimes, <laughs> right? I want to be like, Aah! but I literally am like, Holy Spirit, give me peace and patience to speak to this to this child. And so I don't speak to the child. I let God speak to the child because mm-hmm. I'm like, I want to hurt you. <laughs> but God wants you to learn a lesson. Yeah. That's real, man. <laughs> so the child is not even really submitted to me. Mm-hmm. The child is submitted to the authority of God. And I don't think there are a lot of women who have experienced what that is like. Yeah, yeah, that's real. So it's not, once again, it's not girlfriends submit to your boyfriends or girlfriends submit to that man who down. It is wives. 
Okay, talk about it. Submit to your husbands as they have submitted themselves to God. So you aren't really submitting yourself to a man or a husband, let's be clear. Mm -hmm. You're submitting yourself to God. Basically. Right? Mm -hmm. And he is doing his very best, right? Which means he needs quiet time. He needs prayer. He needs discipline. He needs community. There are so many things you need as a leader. Like being a leader is not just like the funnest job in the world. So there are so many different things he needs. And God didn't say, you know, kiss the ground the man walks on. Yeah, you know, it just it's it's not that's not what he said. And if you choose well enough, you'll want to do nothing but submit to your husband. Like he I talk about this man all the time. I'll never say his name. He wasn't my husband. He was my boy. <laughs> He was my no. <laughs> he knows who he is. If you see him pouring him out. Okay, pouring him out, pouring <laughs> him out. So I felt like if I was like, "What's happening? Why am I leaning back? Why am I letting this man make all the decisions?" Because he was so in alignment with God. We was a little out of alignment because we was <laughs> mm -hmm. wasn't doing everything we were supposed to be doing right. But he was doing his best <laughs> to be in alignment with God. That I felt so safe with him. Yeah. And to, we haven't spoken in years. To this day, I feel like I could pick up the phone and not feel. I know I could pick up the phone, call him, and be like, I need this, this, that, and that. Mm. That's powerful, man. And it wouldn't be a question. It wouldn't. Yeah. So. That's, that's powerful. That's. And then that's also why you choose a man you respect and honor. Because but, who wouldn't want to follow if Oprah was like, Submit your business to me. Boom. Girl, I'm not arguing with you. Here you go. Here you go, love. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's a good point. Girl. Here you go. That's why you choose a man that you honor and respect. Mm. I'm not saying, don't submit to men who hit you. Don't submit to men who, who, little boys who verbally abuse you. Don't submit to men who use you for your, little boys who use you for your body. But to a man who is your husband, it'll come naturally. I, I agree with that. I agree with that one thousand percent. And so what I'm hearing in that, everybody has a responsibility. Everybody has responsibilities. You know, I was listening at um nineteen keys and Queen of Fool. Mm -hmm. I may be saying her name wrong. Yeah, it's right. Okay, Queen of Fool. And um they got a they got a video out there talking about um the power of femininity. Right. And masculinity and stuff like that. But they put a heavy focus on femininity. And one point, I think I reposted this. He said, women are the key, right? Mm -hmm. And then she was like, we are the key. And I think he assumed that she was saying, like, we women are the key. But she was saying, we collectively, men right. and women are the key. Because she was saying how powerful, she was saying that uh, the femininity or the feminine can also protect. You know, right. she was saying that sometimes the feminine woman, she may see, you know, don't go there. Don't do this. Right. Don't make that phone call. Back up. Maybe mm -hmm. she stay home today. She protected him just as much as the masculine can go out there and just beat somebody over the head and right. protect the family. Right. She's also protecting with her intuition and her wisdom. You know, oh, so intuition. she was and she was saying how these things shouldn't be in our in uh opposition. In opposition. Thank you. But it should be in agreement because the feminine and the masculine is powerful. It's just powerful in different ways. But a lot of times people say feminine, they automatically think weak. You know, not at all. And it's not weak at all. <laughs> you know, that's why I like what stuff you're talking about because of the, the the power of femininity and it's used properly. And I do think um, women got to understand the power of femininity more. I think men got to understand the power of masculinity more because mm -hmm. not masculine is not standing on the mountain top beating chest. Right. Sometimes it it shows up in that way. Sometimes just because we we have a lot of testosterone, we want to get out there. But it's a lot of ways, like you said about the guy. You know, showing them stuff like that. You know, and I think I think it is very powerful how you said that. And and that tells me that as, as as guys as men, you know we have a lot we have a lot of work to do. And one thing that make guys nervous, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes we know deep down inside, just if we want a family, we right. know we got to be the leader, the protector, the provider. Sometimes that can be a lot of pressure for men. You know, I like, mean, I want a family, I want a wife, I want all this and that, but I got to do this and I got to do that. If I don't get it, if I fail, am I a man? You know. And it's, it can be hard for men. And sometimes this is why men take a long time with marriage and stuff. Yeah. Because 
they, they may feel who they are on the inside, but they don't have everything in place. And it, it just be like, oh, man. It, it does bother them. And, and men, they be want to talk about this sometimes. They can't. Mm-hmm. You know, because it's, if you start saying, you know, ah, I don't have it, a lot of times they get the, you weak, you're not enough, fingers mm-hmm. pointed at them. And another point with that, I say this on my videos one time before, one of my best friends, um, he got married years ago, right? And his wife, his now wife, um, the fellas, we we didn't know her like that, you know, and she was very different from all the other women he brought around. Nice, nice, nice young lady, you know, and he married her. And so I was like, uh, I almost called his name. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I, I was like, man, I talked to him. I said, man, tell me about, you know, what, homegirl. <laughs> homegirl. What made you choose your wife, man? Because, I mean, he was he was totally happy. It was, it was a different him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was like, you know what, man? Because they, they were dating, you know, uh, I, I think they had a, they may have had a son at, at that time before they was married. And he was working his dead end job he didn't like, you know, and he was, it was killing him day after day. And he was, and he was talking to me before. He was like, John, man, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I got to leave this job, man, but I don't know how my girl going to take it. You know, I was just walking with him. I remember this one. You know what I'm saying? And then he was just like, um, but, but then he was like, one day, man, I just went home and told her. He's like, I know she's going to kick me out. He's like, because he's going to tell her that. I'm leaving this job. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but mm-hmm. I can't go another day. Mm-hmm. My mental, I just can't do it. And he he thought for sure she's gonna kick him out. Oh, you ain't this, you ain't that. And he, and he was like, she said that, um, baby, I support you. I you you know you need a job, but I, I see that you can't you can't take this job. I know you're a man. I know the man that you are. I know you will find something else. I will even help you find something else. I know you are leaders for this family. We're gonna be all right. He said right then and there he knew he was gonna marry her. Mm-hmm. I was like, he was just like, Phew. we both was just like, yeah. <laughs> 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 run around, run around. It, and, and that's so important for a man to feel that from a woman. Like that, that's what I mean by support. Because sometimes you have to make decisions as a man. Sometimes you may can't do it, and you know, if a woman loves you and she know you, she knows the the man you are inside. Because a job doesn't define you, you know. But a lot of men fear that they gotta have this, gotta have that. In order, and they do have to have certain things, but their decisions and the things that they make, they make a mistake. Where are you if I fail? That's important to a man. That's the support I'm talking about. You know, I can't be all things all the time. If if I get it wrong, who are you if I get it wrong? Who are you when I fail? Who are you when my money runs out? Who are you at these critical points in my life?